Costing Run is a tool used for mass processing in product cost planning or PCP. The following scenarios are some examples of using the costing run. Standard cost estimate of all the materials in one plant. Standard cost estimate of all the materials in all plants. Monthly modified standard cost estimate of all materials. Current cost estimate of all materials of a product group. Current cost estimate of a highly complex product structure. The costing run organizes the processing steps and checks the generated material cost estimates. After a costing run and its processing steps are successfully completed, the costing run can be deleted. The administrative data in the costing run is also deleted, but the material cost estimates that a costing run generates remain and can be reorganized or archived. After each processing activity, you can study the activity in the message log. If required, repeat the activity until costing is free of errors. For example, if some materials are costed with errors, the costing activity is only repeated for these materials until the errors are rectified and before a price update is performed. In the case of partial selection of assemblies for the costing run, the structure of the assemblies must be exploded again after the selection. If you repeat the selection activity, the structure explosion must also be repeated. Some advantages of flexible material selection are as follows. Business value. Flexible selection of materials for costing enables more precise selection of materials in support of the cost estimator's requirements. Realization. There is a separate transaction to maintain the parameters to select materials and generate the selection list. Transaction CKMATSEL. The selection of materials can be restricted through material number, plant, bill of material, or BOM usage. Additional material master fields found in the accounting and costing views. Criteria for existing cost estimates and Referencing materials from an existing costing run. After the initial material list is created, you can edit the selection list by adding or deleting materials from the selection list. Transaction CKMATCON. You can use a selection list to select materials for a costing run. Transaction CK40N by assigning the selection list to the selection step. The selection list is created using transaction CKMATSEL. Materials can be selected using the following material master fields from the accounting and costing views. Profit center, valuation class, special procurement type. Materials can also be selected based on the following characteristics of previous cost estimates, costing variant, costing dates, costing status. The material selected can be manually edited using transaction CKMATCON. The selection list can be used in future costing runs if required. A costing run is identified by its name and the date. The recommendation is to use the long text to explain the purpose of costing, such as Plan 4 2000, Plant. 0001. It is possible to have multiple costing runs with the same name but with different run dates. The Create with Reference option allows you to transfer all the parameters, the general data and process flow parameters of an existing costing run. As a rule, you should execute costing runs for the same plans on a monthly, quarterly, or yearly basis. If you use the Create with Reference function, all the necessary data and parameters are copied. All you need to do is alter the names and long text and execute the process. You have to make the following important entries in the general data section before executing a costing run. Costing variant and version. 
the costing variant specifies the explosion and valuation strategies, company code and controlling area. You need to enter only the company code if the costing run is limited to one company code and cross-company costing has not been enabled in customizing. Server group. You need to enter a server group only if you use parallel processing. This is required only for extremely large quantities of data. You must save the general data before you can initiate the costing run. The following activities take place during the execution of a costing run. Processing activities are offered according to the context. They are arranged and flow from left to right and top to bottom. You can execute the activities by either clicking icons or hotspots or context menus. Processing activities are categorized as change parameters and execute. The functions of the parameters column or change parameters enable you to check or maintain the options of the activity. For example, the material numbers for selection. Choosing execute initiates or schedules the processing activity. Other columns that are used to execute a function are authorization and log. The symbol in the authorization column indicates if marking or release is permitted, open or closed padlock, or if issuing authorization is not possible, red cross. Choosing the padlock takes you to the screen used to issue authorization. The authorization column displays only for standard cost estimates. Choosing the log column takes you to the log. The background processing option enables you to specify if processing should take place in the foreground or in the background. When you choose execute, the system either starts the activity or schedules it in the background. Statistics are generated for each activity. The following reports are used to analyze the results of the cost estimate. Costing Levels Report The Costing Levels Report provides an overview of the number of materials selected and costing levels created. The lowest level contains the material components, purchased parts, and raw materials. If you select some specific costing levels and go to the material list, the system displays the materials of only the selected levels. Material List Report The Material List Report contains the list of selected materials. You can also check the status of the cost estimate for the material. There are several navigation options such as the Context Menu, Double Click and the Toolbar Menu which can be used to access more cost estimate screens and reports. Analysis Report The Analysis Report enables you to compare the costing results of one costing run with that of another, with the prices in the material master. This report is generated by the identical processing activity in the analysis area. You can also access comparison reports. The analysis option is used to compare new standard cost estimates with the standard price. You can use it to check if any cost estimates are undergoing major changes. When there are large amounts of data, you can quickly display the analysis reports that were created in the background. The standard system provides several variants of the analysis report for various analysis purposes. You can access these reports either in the costing run by choosing the settings menu inside the costing run transaction or through the information system on the SAP Easy Access menu. The following information is included in the analysis report. Results of costing run. 
The results of costing run report variant displays the results of a costing run. Price versus cost estimate. The price versus cost estimate report variant compares the selected cost estimates with one of the prices in the material master. You can simulate the revaluation of inventories to find out whether the selected cost estimates are released. Variances between costing runs. The variances between costing runs report variant compares the results of two costing runs. To get an overview of all report options, use the All Selections option. You can go from the object list to detailed reports such as Display Cost Estimate, Multi Level Bill of Material or BOM, Itemization, and Cost Component Split. The Analysis option in the Costing Run enables only one mass report for a single costing run. When analysis is performed again, the old result is overwritten. The Analyze Costing Run report in the Information System does not have this restriction. It can cover information contained in multiple costing runs. Time consuming retrieval and formatting of mass data is performed in the background and an extract is generated. The extract is interactive and can be displayed quickly. The most important feature of the Analyze Costing Run report is the interplay between selection variance, display variance, and extracts. To execute the Analyze Costing Run report, take the following steps. Define and use appropriate display variance, including totals, sorting, and filters. Define and use appropriate selection variants that are assigned to the display variants. Specify the extracts in which the content should be saved. Start background processing with the defined selection variants. To call the report, specify the extract to be read. In the displayed extract, you can use the sorting, filtering and totaling functions and go to the detailed reports. In order to efficiently handle errors in the costing process, you use the following options. If extremely large costing runs are executed, you can create a log for each costing level. This makes it easier to analyze the results. The standard system contains display variants for error logs that enable you to summarize and group the data. You can define your own display variants for filters and sorting to access the required data quickly. You can print the log at each stage of the costing run. This is not recommended for large costing runs because it increases the processing time and uses a considerable amount of system resources, such as spools. Save the log and analyze it later.